Hello, yes, Nigel Farage is wrong on Islam. This is further to a video I made yesterday regarding an article uh, in RT.com, it's an online news agency, I've left the link below, where Nigel Farage was attacking UKIP leader Jared Batten and his association with Tommy Robinson, and that it'll be the death of UKIP if you'd associate with this guy, and he's right, he's right, he's spot on, but then in the same breath he's wrong in the belief, this false belief, which privately I think he knows is a load of nonsense, that we should bring on board the majority of Muslims to embrace more Western values and reject extreme interpretations of the Quran. Well, that's not going to happen, Mr. Farage. Or should I say, has it happened? Walk around some of these little Islamic republics up and down Britain. Let's take Blackburn as an example. If they, won't, if they had any intentions of embracing western values then there wouldn't be a little caliphate now in brad uh, in Bay, sorry in blackburn would be the same applies to burnley bradford and everywhere else but anyway there wouldn't be a little caliphate in blackburn now as i speak would there mr farage and also mr farage what if the vast majority don't want to come on board where does that then leave you in ukip where does that leave all of us I believe you're right that we shouldn't unnecessarily pick a war with Islam, whether or not we'd win or lose or not. I think you're right. And that's why our enemies are pushing for a war with Islam. Tommy Robinson, Amory Waters, Paul Weston, Paul Golden, Jada Franson, and so on and so on. They are pushing for a war with Islam. So that tells me we need to avoid one. And you may indeed be right, Mr. Farage, we'd lose at present. We've got to approach this cleverly. Right, and we've got to build up our forces again through the populist uh, revolution that's happening now right across Europe. Because I believe the populist revolution will and can only lead to a British nationalist revolution. It's like Kerensky and Lenin really, isn't it? You know, uh, the February revolution and the October revolution, was it? Anyway, whatever. Uh, so we do have to approach this right. You're quite right. But I don't believe the vast majority are going to come on board, reject extreme interpretations of the Quran, and embrace Western values. If that was the case, it would have already happened decades ago. I mean, you had riots in Oldham and Bradford in 201 and Burnley. What's happened since? Have they embraced more Western values? Well, no, the complete opposite, right? These places, now if you go round them, right? They are literally little Islamic republics, little caliphates. Um, and it's scary because I've been, I've been in and around all of them with Nick Griffin and it really is a frightful, uh, they really are frightful places, trust me. So how do you intend to bring them on board? You can't extend an olive branch to these people. It's the scorpion and the frog, it's not happening. It's in their nature, it's in their religion, what they do. We're in big trouble, Mr. Farage. And I'll tell you who you need to blame for a lot of this is the Queen, a hey, Commonwealth subject, because that's where they're all from, the Commonwealth, right? But anyway, that's another video in itself. So you're right in that we shouldn't pick a war with Islam, but you're wrong in the false belief, which I think privately you already know, that we should try and get the vast majority on board embrace British, British values and reject extreme interpretations of the Quran. That's not happening. If it, if it was going to happen, it would have happened decades ago, wouldn't it? So where does that leave you and where does it leave you, Kip? Well, exactly. This thorny issue is going to have to be dealt with one day, but I, I agree with you. Let's not pick an unnecessary war with Islam, which our enemies want. Let's build ourselves back up again. Let's get the line roaring again, and then we'll decide what's what and what's not. Okay, thank you.